Hi, I'm Katie, and in this week's industry update, how about solar cells, 100 times thinner than a strand of human hair? And we're also talking about a swimming stingray robot. Researchers at Kennesaw State University are working to develop better photovoltaic technologies, recently developing solar cells 100 times thinner than a strand of human hair. These flexible cells were developed using nanomaterials. Researchers are working to develop photovoltaic technology that produces cheaper and more efficient solar cells. The unique manufacturing process takes advantage of an ultra-thin hybrid perovskite film applied to glass substrates in multiple nanostructured layers. Glass is used because silicon is expensive, fragile, and bulky, and typically requires a clean room for solar cell fabrication. Eventually, flexible plastic substrates will replace glass. The research is all part of a global effort to push past silicon solar cells as new bandgap engineered perovskite crystals are much better. Absorbing a wider spectrum of sunlight compared to silicon on a film that's 200 times thinner. A major goal for the research, apart from attaining a higher efficiency, is reducing the cost of producing solar cells. The team's long-term goal is to cut that cost to less than 10 cents per watt. This research offers enormous potential for new technologies such as integrating flexible solar cells on wearable electronics, backpacks, self-charging phones, and more. Researchers believe that this could be the future of solar-powered generation. And meet Robo Ray, a robot made of gold and powered by rat heart cells. Robo Ray is the latest advancement in artificial creatures that blends tissue and technology. The miniature robotic stingray features a thin, rubbery body and a skeleton made of gold. The key features is a sheet of rat heart cells that contract when illuminated with pulses of blue light. The cells are activated by the light and contract so the robo stingray can swim. In a demonstration at Harvard, the 16 millimeter long robot glided around a water tank at a leisurely pace of 3.2 millimeters per second. Makers guided the robot through an obstacle course 15 times longer than its body. Kevin Kip Parker, professor of bioengineering at Harvard, led the team that developed RoboRay. Parker says RoboRay was a training exercise that will hopefully lead to other biohybrid robots and ultimately help reveal how to build a human heart. For this experience, Parker chose a stingray because he thought the coordination of their muscles might have similarities with the heart's behavior. Robo Ray is built to one-tenth the size of a living stingray. Its thin polymer body and gold skeleton, which is printed on top of the robot, weighs just 10 grams. Over the skeleton is a layer of 200,000 heart cells. These cells are genetically modified to contract when blue light is shown on them. Because the cells need energy, the robot swims in a tank of warm water, salt, and glucose. This isn't the end of biohybrid robots, as Parker says he is already working on his next artificial creature. That's it for this week's industry news update. Stay tuned next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.